Hey YouTube, it's Dr. Raymond. Thank you so much for watching my YouTube channel and happy Friday. Um, welcome to my vlog. Uh, as you follow me as I start my own practice, I do not honestly remember <laughs> what episode this is. I think it's episode four. It has been an extremely long, tiresome week. Um, but anyway, I'm glad you joined me today on my journey of starting my own practice. So today's topic for discussion is graduation. We had our uh, internal medicine residency graduation about two weeks ago. So there are some uh, post-graduation thoughts that I would like to share. Um, keep in mind, I don't officially finish for another two weeks, which it is like the never ending saga. My gosh, I feel like I'm in purgatory. Like somebody, please just give me my freedom. But two weeks, I'm sure, will go by quickly. But uh, I have some post-graduation thoughts that I would like to share that I think um, are applicable to anyone that uh, has a dream or uh, is working to pursue their goals. So the first is success does not always look like what we thought it would. I will never forget when I graduated from medical school. As I've alluded to in other videos, I always wanted to be a physician and I fought so hard to get into medical school and um, you know medical school was extremely rigorous and everyone looks forward to when you finally match into your residency program that's a whole nother process and story um, but it's supposed to be in a very exciting time somebody is actually giving you a long white coat and you can officially be called doctor and I remember that night and the next day after graduation feeling so sad and I was talking to one of my really good friends um, who just happens to be a clinical psychologist and I remember telling her that I felt like a failure and I think it's because at that particular time in my life there were some things that I had envisioned for myself when I was younger like oh well I thought I would have a house by now or I thought I would have you know another degree just crazy stuff which in the grand scheme of things doesn't even matter like what does it matter if I didn't get an MBA after undergrad and then went to med school does it matter I mean the ultimate goal was to be a physician so I think it's so important for people to remember um, that success doesn't always look like we thought it would look like or feel like we thought it would feel like because sometimes it's not rooted in reality it's rooted in fantasy you have to remember a lot of us had these dreams and these goals since we were children and I think we idealize certain things for instance I always wanted to be a physician to help people I have found a lot of joy and fulfillment and you know a sense of purpose in that and when you're bright-eyed and bushy-tailed med student, you know, you're like, oh my gosh, this is so amazing. But as you go on, patients will curse you out. Sometimes multiple ones in the same day. And you're like, what the heck? I didn't sign up for this. But it's normal. Every day, you're not going to be on the mountaintop. You're not going to have consecutive wins every single day. You will get discouraged you will have hard times. There will be uh, days where you have to remind yourself why you did that and it's perfectly normal. So just, you know, keep in mind that success may not always look like what you thought it would look like because you may have over idealized some things or, um, you know, didn't realize the deaths of certain things. Sometimes you don't really know how something will be. You can envision it in a certain way, but you don't really know how it will be until you actually start doing it. So it's perfectly normal. It's okay. You are still successful and you should still congratulate yourself that you have achieved this absolutely amazing goal. Uh, number two, uh, no one ever achieves anything significant in life without a team. I can honestly say that I would never ever have gotten to where I am where I could actually walk across the stage 
uh, at my internal medicine residency graduation, I could not have done it without everyone's support. I mean, it goes back as far as to, you know, being a young child or even, you know, high school and um, undergrad and even in the workplace, you know, people that encouraged you when you wanted to give up. Even the people in the library from grad school, we used to camp out there all day and all night. And they were absolutely wonderful. Um, we would, I think they closed at like three in the morning and you know, we would still be there at like 3.05 and they had so much patience um, with us. And even now from people in the cafeteria, uh, I could be having a horrible day and I go to the cafeteria and you know uh, some of the workers know that I love Cheerios or I love certain snacks and they will hide them or save them for me and let me know like hey if you're looking for this I put it out just for you just things like that that people do not have to be kind to you like that so you really appreciate it when they are um, and encouragement from patients patients give you inspiration so my point being is that throughout the journey make sure you have a good team around you I could never have done it without the love and the kindness and the encouragement uh, of all of those people around me it was definitely a team effort and not an individual one and that is closely related to my third point which is avoid toxicity at all costs. Um, as I've gotten older, I realize that I have very little tolerance for things that distract me or take away my energy. So we can liken our journey uh, as we reach our goals um, to that of taking a trip. When you take a trip, let's say you wanna drive from Texas to California, you are gonna have uh, a certain uh, journey already mapped out and you're not going to be taking wild detours oh well let's stop by Atlanta well why don't we go to DC first if you did that you would never ever reach your destination same thing um, on this journey of life as we uh, as we go towards our destination of our dreams and our goals it requires focus and discipline and not only that energy no one <laughs> works like 36 hours and then goes oh I'm gonna take a 24 hour road trip no everyone knows that you need sleep for energy and for the ability to focus so in the same thing in our journey toxicity in any form will impair our ability to concentrate to focus to have sharp vision and it will also zap us of all of our energy that's required to reach our destination um, and toxicity can come from a myriad of places it can come from yourself certain behaviors and habits that you have I know um, in graduate school and undergrad I had a really bad habit of um, talking negatively speaking negatively speaking doubt a lot of times in my life um, and I could see where that would hinder me in certain areas it was always this never-ending conversation in my head well I know I want to do this but can I really can you really do this do you really think you're smart enough do you really think you're good enough the answer to all those questions is yes God called me to do it all I have to do is walk in it as we've been discussing in our purpose series so for me I had to get rid of those habits of a negative self-talk and doubt um, in order to really remain focused and keep my energy uh, that I needed for my journey. Toxicity can also come um, from other people. There are certain people in my life that I really had to cut off. People that are small minded, they may not think big, but that doesn't mean that you should knock my dreams. Um, they're the type of people that always say well I don't think you know you should do that maybe you should leave that to someone else no I didn't ask your opinion do not take the opinion of unqualified people with inaccurate information as we have discussed 
in our other uh, purpose series for our rise and grind to shine that God called each of us for a specific purpose and with that purpose he gave us all um, specific giftings and talents so everything that you need for your journey you already have you just walk in it there is no reason for you to listen to toxic people and we can also um, be hindered by toxic environments and I know sometimes this cannot be avoided it could be close family uh, it could be the environment that you're training in or you're uh, currently working in but you can definitely minimize the amount of time spent in those situations um, and the fourth point would be to really really appreciate your journey I know throughout this course I have endured some things that I would rather have not experienced um, some things can be painful and can be extremely difficult and you can tell God like hey I think we could have done without this part <laughs> you know you could have written that out but our journey is what has sh shaped us to who we are today so it's important that we appreciate where we have been because without it we wouldn't very we wouldn't be where we are now but at the same token look to the future never ever look back and then my fifth point and I think this is probably the most important thing to remember is for everyone to really know their worth I feel that so many people don't realize the treasure that they have. We've talked about that the Bible says that there's treasure in earthen vessels and everyone is so unique and has a specific purpose that only they can fulfill. But so many people don't know it or if they do know it, they live like they don't know that. Uh, they may settle for mediocrity. They may have a goal in mind, and that's what they really, truly want to do. But they will talk themselves out of it with the negative self-talk that we discussed earlier. And will settle for something so far beneath their talents and their skills. So it's so important that you know your worth. You know that God created you to do something that only you can do. And that everything that you need to fulfill, that's special call on your life you already have with that it's also important for us to know we deserve you deserve to be happy you deserve to have good things in life and not only that is God's will and his desire to give you those good things in life if you have dreams and goals that you want to pursue pursue it and and knowing your worth it's not about being confident in yourself. I'm not confident in myself. I'm confident in the person that God created me to be. I know my identity in Him and because of that, nothing can shake me. I've encountered physicians, you know, that love to intimidate, you know, the medical students and the residents by telling them essentially, you know, you're stupid, you can't do this. No, I don't put up with that. In the past, maybe i would have doubted but no i've come too far i know who i am i know who i am in christ more importantly and i know what i'm worth i do not depend on the opinions of others it doesn't matter the only opinion that matters in your life and in my life is that of god and he said that you can do it he spoke those things and they will come to pass and my final point is as always never ever give up there were so many times and i'll probably talk about this later i wanted to quit there was one time i actually quit in med school we like to refer to it now as black thursday <laughs> when i just had enough and i looked at my best friend and said i'm going home and so i essentially quit for a weekend uh, and we actually had testing that monday and my dad told me, I knew you <laughs> weren't serious. You came home with books. So, <laughs> but I quit for a weekend. So there are times 
that it can be extremely difficult and you will want to quit. It's okay to want to quit, but it's okay, it's never okay to actually quit. You can want to quit, you can cry, you can vent, you can pray to God, you can pour out your heart to Him and tell Him what's going on, but know that if you continue walking, you will win if you don't quit and He will strengthen you and help you all throughout the process. So those are my um, post-graduation thoughts. Uh, in two weeks on my last day, I will have uh, some post-residency thoughts, um, <laughs> which I think will be enlightening and a little humorous. But once again, as always, I hope you guys have an amazing weekend. Be well, continue to dream big, and believe God for the impossible things. Uh, remember to hit subscribe and for more information you can visit my website www.themedicalinstituteforwellness.com and I will see you bright and early Monday morning as we conclude our series on purpose. I'll see you soon.